things went according to plan. Um, I feel like I'm continuing to grow as a fighter every single time I step in that cage. The funny thing is, it never gets any easier. I'm still just as nervous as I want, as I was on day one. But um, overall, I can say that I'm definitely happy with my performance. No injuries, so you know, take about a week off and then 11 weeks to get ready for the title. Yeah, I know from your judo background, you're used to having to face just kind of whoever shows up next in the bracket. But yeah. I do wonder, I mean, this is different stakes, right? I mean, there's game plan, you know, there's a million dollars on the line and all these things. So, I mean, can you just talk about how the last 24 hours or so have affected you and kind of what you had to do to get yourself ready? Yeah, I mean, this is the second time that I've had a short, <laughs> short notice opponent change. Um, thankfully for me, Bobby Joe is very similar to Jenna, both very tall, Southpaw strikers. Um, so the game plan didn't change too, too much for me. I think I just kind of changed the face in my head from what I was visualizing. Um, but it's, I mean, I guess you have to, you have to be prepared for whatever. I mean, I always say I want to be able to beat anybody on my worst day, but uh, it does bring a little bit of nerves. Like, you're like, oh, wait a second. Time to go. To talk about the matchup that you have now, I mean, I think everybody thought, obviously, coming into the season, it was going to be you and yeah. Sarah at the end. So I'm curious what your emotion is. You know, are you disappointed that maybe you don't get that marquee name? Or I, I can see in some ways you might be more excited to get th this one back a little bit, one that you weren't happy with. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I am not super surprised with the result. I know that Larissa, I mean, I was in the cage with her not long ago. I know that she's very physical, um, tough. I think she's really young, has a lot of experience, up and coming, strong girl, really well-rounded overall. Um, so I knew that Sarah was going to struggle with her. And I think, too, just mentally, Sarah was like, I'm going to be a millionaire, I'm going to be a millionaire, I'm going to beat Kayla. I'm gonna, I was like, I, I just felt like she was overlooking her a little bit. And I knew from experience that she wasn't someone to be overlooked. Um, so I'm not surprised by the result. I am a little disappointed just because... It's always, you know, I want to continue to grow as an MMA fighter. I want to continue to test myself. Um, and I think everyone was kind of hoping for this, you know, magical moment with Sarah and I where I finally make her stop talking. Um, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm looking forward to the rematch with Larissa. I think we're going to have some fireworks. I think we're going to steal the show. Um, <laughs> All right, so you're in the, the final against Pacheco. Uh, assuming you win, what's next for you? Um, well, I recently just uh, re-signed with the PFL, so I will be staying on board for another year. Um, I'm super happy about that. This has been my home from day one in the world of MMA. Um, I truly believe in the PFL and what they're, they're trying to do. You know, they're changing the game. They're making it a sport, not so much an entertainment. And that's something that I can get behind. You know, it's, um, it doesn't matter what I say up here as long as I perform inside the cage. And I think every fighter loves that. You know, if you put, the des put, put my destiny in my hands, I'm going to be happy. Kelly, going into the championship round now, and you're going to be facing Larissa again. Now, we saw how you took it after the first fight. You know, you disappointed in that. So now with these bigger stakes and the bigger spotlight, is a decision win going to be enough for you at the end of it, or do you want the finish? I mean, my, my mindset never changes. You know, I want to go out and I want to instill my will in a dominant fashion. I want to win by a KO, TKO, or submission. Um, you know, I think the last time, like I said, it was a very last minute opponent change. Um, I wasn't, didn't really have a lot of time to, to check her out. Went in there, probably myself underestimating her a little bit. And this time, there's not going to be that mistake, you know. I'm ready to stay hungry, stay humble, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to win. Kayla, speaking of your um, your contract extension that you just talked about, how, how does having that in your back pocket take a little bit of the pressure off having to perform in this uh, this tournament going on? Um, I mean, it's, it's nice. Obviously, you know, I wanted to stay with the PFL. I... I uh, I, I, like I said, I truly believe in everything that they're trying to accomplish and how they're changing the game. Um, a lot of people questioned if I should maybe move on to a different organization and test myself in other waters, but uh, I'm only, I'm 
I'm only 6 and 0, oh, you know, I'm still a baby in this sport. And I have a lot to learn and a lot of growing to do. But there's no pressure, you know, the pressure is on me. I, I'm my biggest critic, I'm, I put all the pressure on myself. And um, at the end of the day, I know that no one works harder than me, no one wants it more than me, and that's why I'm going to be successful. Kayla, with your contract extension, um, season three, Matt, what female fighters would you like to see come in to be a Ooh, good question. That's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. That's really showing my ignorance in the sport. You see what I'm, saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a newbie, I don't really know. Um, obviously, I had kind of hoped for Cyborg to sign with us. Um, I think that, that uh, she's one of the greatest female fighters of all time, so I would love to fight her at some point in my career. I know that she's sort of on the tail end of hers, and I'm just getting started, so maybe we could have intersected, but I think Cyborg was uh, happy to go take some easy money at a different organization. Um, I'm not sure. Who would I? Who would I? I gotta I got get back to you on this one. I'll Instagram you. I don't know. <laughs> Malik, that will be. Okay. <laughs> I'm just focused on Larissa right now. Afterwards, I'll, I'll, I'll find out who else should come join the PFL. If the PFL does come to you for season three and say they don't want to do a 155 pound division, would you be open to a 145 pound division? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, I originally thought that I was gonna have to cut down to 145 um, after PFL one season, just because really a 155 pound division didn't exist um, in major organizations. But the PFL said, no, you know, we want you to stay healthy. We want to shatter these ceilings. We want to create the first ever 155 pound division. And I said, sign me up. <laughs> you tell me I don't have to, to starve. Um, I think that I can make 145 in a healthy manner. I walk around about 160, 165. Um, but the thing is, I just don't really believe in cutting weight. You know, I don't believe it sends the right message to young boys and girls. I believe that if you're gonna win, you're gonna win at whatever you weigh naturally. Um, also, you know, when you dehydrate your brain, when you dehydrate your body, your brain is protected by water. So the, the damage that you're taking when you get into a cage 24 hours later, um, we don't really know the long-term effects of that, and I think it's dangerous. So, would I fight 145? Yes, if I have to, but I, I truly believe that, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm a big girl, as you can see, so I like fighting at 155. It feels good, I feel healthy, but I know that ultimately, the toughest competition is at 145, so I'm gonna have to make my way there eventually. Yeah, what you gonna do with that money? Money, 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 money. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna donate a lot of it to my foundation. I'm probably gonna pay off my house, and I'm gonna take uh, my Biffle Kayla on a vacation. Where are we going? Jamaica man. <laughs> <laughs> good, very good. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you.